Star Wars fans and collectors, this is JCC2224 bringing you another Star Wars action figure review. And today I have the Toys R Us exclusive Stealth Operations Clone Trooper or Captain Commander Blackout. Now I really like this figure, excluding that he is the new and awful stone mold. But I really like this figure, and before I go on to the figure itself, let's go on to the packaging. Here's the packaging for the Stealth Operations Clone Trooper. Sorry, in my last video I said I would send those out. I don't want to mislead any of you. I can't send those out, you know, shipping costs and also the time it takes. Battle game card. Die where that would go. Really nice picture of the Clone Commander is the Toys R Us exclusive emblem. I think that's really cool. You know, I think they're full of themselves for doing that. Here is Stealth Operations Clone Trooper. Includes a blaster. Wow. Each finger has a unique card. If you want to freeze the video and read that, you may. Here's a nice image of the figure. That is actually um, the old, um, nice articulated mold, if you can see with the um, ankles and tool so how they have articulation, but with the figure, they sadly do not. Because it's an exclusive, they do not show any other figures, and the rules and guidelines for the Galactic Battle Game. Now back to the figure. Sorry, it takes a little while to transition. The Republic emblem on his shoulder is really cool. How they put the Republic emblem on his shoulder, even though um, I think it looks a little too overdone. Um, his pistol actually did not remove the band from his hand and his head. I really like the, artic the um, detailing on his head. It's really nice. I, even though I don't know what it's supposed to represent, it, it's really cool looking. And also, you can remove his little earphone things. It takes a little while. There we go. You can remove his earphone things. and This was original. This is, um, originally supposed to be used with the Commander Jet figure. Um, so you can swap out the regular headset and the one with antennas. They just kept the feature on them. And not to mislead anyone, those do, those do look like little holes, even though they're just deep and it's this little, uh, shallow um, embed on his helmet. Um, his waist is swivel. His shoulders are ball. Um, his elbows are ball jointed. His wrists are swivel. His head is ball jointed. Sorry, his elbows are ball elbows are ball hinged, and um, legs are swivel. Knees are ball hinged, and no articulation in the ankles. Kind of odd with. Clone Wolves figures. I have no clue why Hasbro wanted to um, actually change the mold of the Clone Trooper, but thank goodness they only have it with a select few. Now let's go on to the Galactic Battle Game card and stand. Here's the Galactic Battle Game card, which is Commander Blackout. All of its points. The rules, if you want to freeze that, so you can know how to play. Um, and here is Galactic Battle Game stand included with the figure. And the Galactic Battle Game die. So I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, like I said, I'm still trying to get the swing of things on making reviews. And 
more reviews of Clone Wars Vintage Collection and even older figures and even Lego sets will um, come soon. I just got my camera walking again um, after a few days of having it not walk due to battery issues. Um, I will now be able to make reviews and post them often. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this review of the Stealth Operations Clone Trooper or the Stealth Ops Clone Trooper as they say on the card or Commander Blackout. Um, have a good day and may the Force be with you.